Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall, offering you a Windows 10 Pro serial key for only $17, and if you use my SKAG code, you get 20% off, lowering the price to $13. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time, and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I should keep plays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and today we have... What? A new video. Yeah, a new video, of course. Anyway guys, today's video is a really fast and small video about coil wine, GPU coil wine. What is coil wine? Coil wine is basically uh, electronic resonance. Uh, it's a weird noise that your GPU may do while, for example, having uh, heavy loads. That weird noise that basically changes changes its tone uh, when having high or lower loads. That's it. Is it a defect or not? Well, it isn't considered a defect and it may be um, a mix, the coil wine appearing may be a mix of your PSU and your GPU and not your GPU only and not your PSU only. It's a mix of both. Basically, if your power supply isn't enough for the GPU, it may have coil wine, or if your power supply has lots of wattage in the, um, in the pack, in the box, let's say, uh, but actually isn't um, a really decent PSU, basically, it is crap with 800 watts in the box, it happens a lot, that may be causing your coil wine. So yeah, in terms of PSUs, wattage is not everything because they can put whatever they want in terms of wattage, but the efficiency will be low and the components used on the PSU itself will be low end, so it will be, they will be quite crappy ones, uh, ends causing coil wine in between many other things. Okay, let's take off the glasses. And I'm making this video, why? I'm making this video because I did a community post uh, yesterday telling people that usually coil wine is not only GPU sided, it's a mix of both components. If your GPU has a really bad PCB, of course the coil wine may be G more GPU related than PSU related, but usually it's a mix of both components and if you're, once again, if your PSU is quite bad, um, well, it may most likely be the PSU. So as for the testing, I'll use the RX 6800 in my main build, okay, with my Corsair RM750X and in my secondary build, which is my testing build, not this one, the one um, beside me, in, a, in this case in front of me, uh, which is my, my testing build, which has my previous, uh, my previous PSU, which is an Aerocool X-Strike 800 watts silver, okay, modular and all that crap, but it's quite old. So I'll be testing in both builds for you to see that PSU does make a lot of difference when going into coil wine. Now, I won't extend this even more. Let's go to the testing. So guys, first of all, let's test the RX 6800 then. Here it is, the 6800 inside my main build, which is the Ryzen 5 5600X and the 6800, okay? Here it is, as you can see, you can't hear actually any noise. No noise at all. And we're gonna test the Assassin's Creed Valhalla on this same build, okay? Let me sit down a bit. So, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, as for the options, 1080p, okay, graphics, high settings, okay, as you can see, 400 FPS, let's go to the benchmark, where we may get around 160, 160 FPS, yeah, most likely. Okay, 140 watts, around that, not much at all, but still, we can't hear no coil wine. The sound is there, but almost imperceptible. It's, it's really, really hard to, to actually hear the, the coil wine. It's almost nothing. And I'm like, I, I'm like, like five centimeters away from the GPU and you can't actually hear anything.
Yeah, the sound is really, really hard to hear. And if you're like here, like 20, 30 centimeters away, you can't actually hear anything. And when I say anything, I really mean it, anything. Even if you open the case and you're like here, 30 centimeters away, the sound is almost imperceptible. Okay, so now that I, I shown you this, it is time to actually remove my RX 6800 and put it in my testing build to actually show you uh, the funny differences. Same GPU, different PSU. So the GPU is here, let's mount it. Okay, ready, let's start it out. Okay, as you can see here, the RX 6800 with the R7 3800 XT and my PSU, the Aerocool X-Strike 800 watts silver. Okay, for now we're using just one cable, but we're gonna use two cables to see if the coil line goes away. Of course, you don't even, you didn't even hear the coil line, but you'll hear soon. So here, let's also start the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So well, now the game is actually uh, loaded, so let's go into the game. But funny enough, the game isn't even starting the benchmark and you can already uh, hear the, um, the coil line, so let's hear it. So here is the game in the menu, as you can see. Let's decrease the sound. You can already notice a considerable, a considerable um, coil line. It comes from the GPU and the PSU. Both are giving you the coil line sound. So let's start and go to the benchmark to see how it goes. So the benchmark started 100 FPS and listen to this sound. Even less power draw that on the other PC. So instead of 140 or 160, we have 120 watts. Now listen to the sound. Let's do a different thing and we, we will actually use two power cables instead of one power cable with two connections to see if the coil line actually gets better and by better I mean less noise. So now we have two cables connected, so let's start the game, AC Valhalla once again, and let's see if we hear another coil wine noise or not, or if it is smoothen or not. And voila, here we are in the game once again, 300 FPS, let's start the benchmark, yes. And we have two cables connected now instead of just one, so two PSU cables with no splitters, just one cable per connection, okay? So, I already noticed that the coil wine has been smoothened a bit, but it is still there, definitely still there even after using two cables. So PSUs do differ things. Go it, yeah. So yeah, definitely, it's definitely smoothened. Way, way less noise than before. Same FPS as you can see, around 110, 120. Same power draw, 120 watts. 
But yeah, way, way less than before. So guys, as you can see here, it is not GPU sided only. It is GPU and PSU sided because when using the same GPU in that build with a different PSU, the things are completely different. Even using only one cable, we can hear no noticeable coil whine. When passing to this PSU that, although it is quite decent, it is quite old also, uh, the, coil whine, the coil whine starts appearing. So once again, it is PSU and GPU sided, but you can um, smoothen things out, it seems, once you use two cables instead of one cable with a splitter. So when you use only one cable with a splitter, you'll have way more coil whine than when you use two cables directly from the PSU. You've seen it, I've seen it, you heard it, I heard it, and I keep hearing it. So definitely quieter. And if things aren't actually uh, the way you want them to be, get a new and better power supply any gold power supply, for example, a Corsair gold power supply, these RM750X ones are really, really great. You have some really great from Seasonic. And if you have the EVGA 750 watts gold, I heard uh, in some forums that people with those PSUs, although they may be good, um, there are some components that make them coil wine, uh, even uh, with some lower end GPUs. So, those those PSU seem to have some kind of problem. Not all, but some of them. So, yeah. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video. I'm still testing the CPU, by the way. Uh, hope you really enjoyed the video, and if you have doubts, leave them in the comment section. Once again, never, never cheap out on a PSU. Do not go and buy high-end parts and low-end PSUs, because your PC will be crap. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.